Hello everyone, this is Mehdi Hassan and I love creating photoreal 3D scenes. I took inspiration from various kinds of arts from various artists available on online. Even AI arts inspires me too. Beautiful places like this and environments where you can't go or different kinds of environment always motivates me. Always I feel like how does it feel to be there. So. I just created my own scene to f fulfill that hunger of that art. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make this kind of things, this kind of scenes on Unreal Engine. And hopefully you can learn Unreal Engine better way. I'll try to teach you, I'll try to show you all tips and tricks. You'll find this castle in description so that you can follow with me. So yes, launch the Unreal Engine 5.2. I use Unreal Engine because it's free and so much powerful and the graphics are really great. You can see many options when the project opens, games, films and videos, architecture, automobile. I'll choose film for now and don't forget to click on the starter content and ray tracing and name your project, give a name. For this case, I'm giving Desert Oasis and hit the create and create the project let's delete this and go to this selection mode and select the landscape hit the create button to create the landscape as you can see there are some starter content where you'll find many materials you can use them on your project but for now you can type poly heaven to make the desert to get the material of desert i mean you can definitely find it in mega scan assets but this website is also free i mean you can get everything here is all are free you can get beautiful hdri high quality hdri maps and textures and also even 3d models so feel free to use them you know as they are free so as you can see i am on the textures and i will use aerial beach texture for my desert download it as you want or as resolution as you want you know there are 2k 4k 8k don't go so much crazy about the size of the texture just 4k is enough you can preview your material here in 3d space that's so much powerful and good for you when you finish downloading you can find the textures map all there you can use them let's back to the engine and create a new folder name it desert oasis you know by the way you have to put underscore to for a space so desert oasis now create some folders for different stuffs. this folder is for material you can import them or just simply just drag them here and they will import automatically this is the beauty of unreal engine as you can see all four maps are here save the project this is necessary create a new folder for your map because we haven't saved our map yet so it's important you save your level so save current level as find out your folder where do you want to save your map in this case i will choose this folder and name this as main map you know as this is my main map and save it so that you can find the, your map when it's needed so yes now create new folder for your 3d models you import them import your models but before that we need to create a landscape material so select the landscape and go for a landscape material the materials you want to build here is the material folder and you can see these are the maps one is diffuse one is for gloss one is normal map just take them in a separate folder and select all them move here so go to that folder this is the diffuse map create right button click and create a material name it desert and double click it as you can see there is a material created with that diffuse map this is a just normal image the material is not gorgeous yet or prepared yet so bring those maps you need these maps to look that material great you now work perfectly or pbr so bring them to the viewport here the material section and separate them now you have to connect them with the material uh, with the shaders so as you can see this is the name this is roughness you know this is this 
map is responsible for glossiness and this is normal map this is for details if you plug them you can you will find details of that material like ripples of the material or cracks of the material you can find them by using this normal map this is very powerful you can see some glossiness and some details and this is displacement map this uh, we don't need it now so we'll leave it there you can delete it this is the main normal map which is bringing those details save it and our desert material is prepared now you have to hook that material to the landscape so select that material select the landscape and here you, sh you need to put that material so just select that material and press this icon arrow it will bring that materials to your landscape as you can see the material is applied on our landscapes and you can see this beautiful ripples and some reflections and now you can see that if I rotate the light source, our the sun is on the right position. You can see our suddenly our desert looks so much realistic. For your better understanding, I am fast forwarding my videos. So you can see I'm just you know texturing. You can see I'm just applying the shaders on these maps so that you can see. I've showed you before how to do this. Just import your texture and create material and apply them to your models so bring all your assets this is the palace select all the models and bring it to the viewport scale it a little bit you know and then apply the materials you can apply the materials one by one or you can set by all now the front part the sculpting go to the landscape and sculpt your scene as you want you can always reposition your map there's some settings there flatten smooth it's a it's about your taste you can use various sculpting tools and various power you can see the tool strength you can combine them to make it look as good as possible you can see i am adjusting my brush sizes and uh, tool strengths to make it random you know everything in nature is random so you have to do this random just don't get scared to do that now take a plane and put it there by the way if you put shift on the sculpting mode then it will dig the hole and you will put there a plane and give it to a material i am using the inbuilt material the water material you can find it on content browser and i'm just ad adjusting the large scale tiling and double clicking the material open the material and then adjusting all you know texture coordinates to 12 12 12 to kind of making the ripples of the water more much more smaller because it's a small place so i think i'm good with this now bring some palm tree you can get it from a software called tree eat or you can whatever you can uh, use your own palm tree or you can download it from online i'm just placing this palm tree here and there and, you know just pressing the alt and moving there to instance the trees you now just positioning it framing it so that it looks like cinematic the around the edge of the pond or oasis you now i'm just you can see i'm just instancing the trees so yeah this is pretty much it our base is ready now we will bring some foliages and grasses to our scene before that we can use some exponential for height fog you know adjust it a little bit so it will just you know there should be there some fog so that the scene doesn't look bare or empty you know there should be some fog just play with it and until you are happy now i will use quixel bridge mega scan assets to our to enrich our scene to uh, decorate our scene you can use any 3d models any plants to your scene just drag them to your scene and it will be automatically loaded to the your foliage folder you can see there are grass land there are many things grass many styles you can see these, these are the dead dead broom bush you know these are the dead you can just simply drag them to your viewport and you can see that all are on the foliage mode now you can select and brush stroke them to throughout the landscape of course you can kill them you need to use the brush size and there's a one, one important setting then scale x 
you know if you put a minimum value and maximum value the scale of the trees or whatever your foliage is will be variable and it will be look much more realistic uh, rather than all grass are same so it will put some variation on your grasses or foliages don't forget to play with it play with the density and the scale x factors until you finish your scene you can see i'm pretty much done with this and now start a level sequence and input a camera there you can see i've already got the camera i will keyframe that first put a keyframe in first one frame you can see that and go some forward and hit a keyframe there you can see our scene is animated like that just put some keyframe there and you're good to go so our scene is pretty much ready you can see that put a keyframe in first frame and last frame and move your camera so i'll now use the visual effect go to visual effect and use post process volume to bring some bloom effect you know and let's search let's type here on unb unbound you know to tick it that's why it, whatever you apply to your post process volume it will apply the entire level so don't forget to take this and then go to the bloom effect here's the bloom and adjust the intensity according your taste or scene that's why it will your scene looks more natural like this you can see this is looking already looking so much natural now click here to your movie render queue and bring some output setting i am doing 4k settings you can use custom frame rates and or else it will be it will render according to your scene now add the anti-aliasing I think 9 and 3 should be based spatial sample count and temporal sample count put the value there accept that I think you should give a render location and accept it accept that render local and your scene will start to render so that's it that's how you create this kind of scenes you know you can create any kind of things in Unreal Legend 5 this is so much powerful even the PSG is there so everything looks fine you can do some experiment you know do some with colors with light you know I make some night scenes here so if you like my channel please subscribe it will be really it will really inspire me to create this kind of stuff and it will I'll really be very glad it will be very appreciated if you just like and subscribe and you can also give me some references to make this kind of tutorials i'll make them for you so till then bye bye peace